Hi, I'm Annie Jones and welcome to Get Modern. Today we're starting a new series of quick videos uh, which we're putting under a playlist called In Tune Handbook. The purpose really of these is to help anyone out there wanting to get started with the Microsoft Endpoint Manager and Intune uh, and really kind of give you some, in, uh, some details around how to configure the fundamentals within the platform. So a natural place to start is um, how to set up Microsoft Intune day one. So just to plug my own uh, blog post here really, I've got a blog under Move to Modern and uh, I've documented the steps here so feel free to go and have a look if you want to. Um, so I've added 10 steps initially, some of these are optional and the idea what I'm going to do here is create effectively a video for for most of these um, so you can step through them in your own time. We're just here to get started today and I'll do a quick intro and then obviously when you're ready uh, move on to the next one on the list uh, within within the playlist uh, of, of our channel. So just to get started um, I'll put in here uh, sign into Microsoft into subscription so you're going to need um, uh, your admin uh, permissions in order to get into the right portals to do your configuration. You may um, you may need to create or configure a domain name. By default, Microsoft gives you a dot on Microsoft.com extension. But if you want to add your organisation in, um, you, you will have to do that separately. Then obviously you've got the add your users and groups. There are various ways of doing that, so we'll do a video on that. Um, licensing obviously is a is a core concept here. There are various different Microsoft licenses out there, so we'll have a little chat about what uh, what the options are, what you'll need specifically for for Intune. One of the the, the key startup uh, configuration uh, steps really is to configure the MDM authority. And automatic enrollment so we'll, we'll discuss that um, none of the devices are going to be that useful really if you don't have any applications so obviously we'll we'll spend a little bit of time looking at the applications that you can add and how you do that and there are various uh, settings that you can put on your devices so um, there's a specific video that will that will introduce and, uh, and give you some details around that other options really uh, on the list here you can customize the company portal and I'll show some information in around that and um, then there are amend the device enrollment restrictions um, which uh, will have its own video and then also uh, we'll configure some we'll finish off with configure app policies okay um, just to highlight again obviously there are these are optional they won't stop you from getting started but I do regard these really as kind of uh, things you should at least look at before before you start enrolling devices so um, what do you need to gain access to okay so I've got a little list here um, you're going to need to effectively um, log in let's go back here you're going to need access to the endpoint um, endpoint manager so the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, which you can access under the endpoint.microsoft.com. That's the critical one, really, for doing all, for doing most of your configuration. It used to be in the Azure portal, but now has its own uh, its own portal dedicated. Um, but you may also need to go into well, you will need to go into the Azure portal. We can do some customization there, and we'll we'll look at that at a later date. Um, either it be customization or add your own domain name we'll use the, uh, the Azure portal for that uh, at some point we'll go into the Microsoft 365 admin center uh, and maybe we'll look at the licensing from that perspective and then as and when you add applications um, we'll configure the store for business uh, and you'll need specifically to log on uh, create an account log on and uh, add your applications through the store from that website. So the first thing I'm going to do is log on to the Endpoint uh, Manager website. I can 
choose my admin account. Uh, as you can see, um, I, I've done some customization myself. So you've got the move to modern customization logos here, which I've added, which um, one of the videos will show how to do. It's also given me an option whether I want to stay in or not. You can configure that. I'm going to say no for now. And this is the portal. Uh, you're default to the to the home here where you're given given an overall details of the health of your uh, your endpoint manager uh, center and your configuration there um, and these are all the options that you get down the left hand side um, it uh, there's there's a lot of configuration to go through when you click on one of these there are then different panes that open up um, so I'm not going to go through them now in this first video but this is just to introduce introduce you to uh, what you see from from the dashboard and uh, when you initially log on okay uh, we'll leave it there for now uh, and then hopefully if you want to progress through this this handbook then please go ahead and have a look at the the next videos in the series and gradually work through those in, in your own time